Hey everyone, welcome back to Demigod's music tutorials. So, here's a little tip for you. I love putting beats together with drum racks, but what I find is when it comes to deeper processing, uh, I quite often like to have all of the elements of the drum kit on different audio channels so I can really tweak and mix it properly from the arrangement view. I never knew you could do this, but I discovered a way that you can output the audio of each part of the drum rack onto separate audio tracks. I'm going to show you how. Check it out. So what I want to do is get the audio from this drum rack that I've got with a few elements in the chain here. So there's one, two, three, four, five. I want to get audio outputs to different tracks in Ableton. I've simplified the view here, but essentially what I want to do is take the four elements of the beats within this drum rack here and record them out onto separate audio tracks here so I can really tinker with them uh, individually. So I've got four brand new audio tracks here, I've already named them. And what I want to do is set the input to beats. Now I didn't know this, I just found this by mistake really. Um, so I, I just thought, you know, once you've got the input uh, set to beats, then that audio track will record every single element of the MIDI uh, channel beats and you wouldn't be able to split it up. But if you go into this next box down, you can actually select the in individual element that you want just uh, recorded onto that track. So. So all I have to do is just match this up. I'm going to put post mixer as the option for all of them. Okay, so kick main. Now let's just do this for all of these. Again, it's beats. And then the next box, we want the acoustic kick. This is at the top. That one. Finger click, same again. Beats. Post mixer. We want the finger click. Post mixer. There we go. And for the hats, same again. Beats. And post mixer, beat, hat. There we go. All right, make sure all of these are set to in. Okay, and we're going to record arm all of these. Oops, I'm going to hold down Control or Command to make sure we can select more than one at the same time. All right, so hopefully, fingers crossed, as I rec press record now, we should get the output of the beats being recorded into new four new audio tracks here uh, so we can really tailor each sound. Here we go. Okay, just to show you the example there, so we can now put these back on auto, and then we can see we have the audio recorded directly out into separately into different audio tracks. Fantastic. 